Local coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Sports coverage you can count on. It was supposed to be a highlight zone on a Tuesday night, but when it comes to scheduling high school sports, Mother Nature can indeed be a fickle mistress. 13 girls sectional games involving local teams were scheduled for Tuesday night. Only two of those wound up getting played. That includes a huge one down in Ossian in 3A. We're talking third ranked Belmont, fifth ranked Norwell. Squaws beat the Knights last week on their way to a conference title. Third quarter, Norwell's Lauren Bales nails the three, but Norwell down 38 35. Grace Hunter, girls' all time leading scorer in Adams County, shows you why. Then it's Hunter beating the third quarter buzzer here. Belmont up 43 35 as we head to the fourth. The Squaws not letting up in transition. Megan Boosick nails the three. She had 24. Belmont up by six. Knights trying to chip away. You're going to see Bales do it again. But Belmont simply too tough, too many weapons. Kenzie McMahon inside. And for the second time in eight days, it's Belmont beating rival Norwell 61 to 51. It's tough to beat a team twice. You know, they've, they've beat us twice in the past, but. I'm so glad that my teammates have worked hard all these years to come back and be hungry enough to beat them again tonight. So I'm very thankful. Gosh, it's amazing. I mean, this is definitely from the beginning of the season one of our biggest goals. So to do it twice is huge for us. Belmont now faces 16 and 5 Heritage at 6 o'clock on Saturday. In 4, a Southside beat Huntington North by 0, 49 points last week. At Homestead, the Vikings ready for a rematch against the defending sectional champs. First quarter, that was Madeline Roebrock with Tuber. Team high 17, Vikings with an early lead, but South responding. J.C. Jones set a school record with nine threes in a game on Friday, so yeah, you knew she could shoot. How about Darian Hackbarth? She had 10, Archers up by 8. Huntington North trying to chip away Reese Kolklezer. Nails it just inside the arc, but the Archers of 12 to 4 after one. Second quarter, South goes in size, inside using the size. Kalasia Morris with the bucket, then it's Yasmin Dixie spin and in. She had 14 as Southside goes on to win 65 to 35. The key was keeping our heads up, keeping the intensity going, and just never stop playing no matter what. What makes you a contender for a sectional championship? Definitely our defense and how much we pass the ball and how intense we can be. What do you think the message was that you sent to other people in the sectionals tonight with a dominating win? That we, we're prepared for whatever comes next and we're just going to refuse to lose and leave no doubt on the court and play with purpose. Archers advance to play Muncie Central on Friday after the Homestead Wayne game at 6. Sticking with